Tiger Woods, you know, notoriously, you know, a womanizer, let's say. He had all of his women all across the country. Hey, it's Tiger. Um, he's a Dave Chappelle voice. <laughs> hey, it's Tiger here. Um, maybe, maybe don't leave these voicemails, Tiger, but so he's got a new girlfriend, right? And she is suing him for $30 million. And this is a story written by me on theblaze.com, everybody. Every day you can find my articles there. And the reason, the way Tiger Woods broke up with her in her own words is absolutely hilarious. In her words. In her words. Because what happened is she filed a new complaint, um, which revealed that she was suing him since last October. Excuse me. So she filed a complaint and it turns out they're like they're adding like a complaint to the lawsuit that they started in October 2022 for 30 million dollars. And she's alleging and tell me if this makes sense to you, Eric, because I want to know if you think this is worth 30 million dollars. She had um, a few years left on her, her argument is that they had a few years left on her tenancy agreement and that they misappropriated forty thousand dollars in cash towards her of her cash. And she somehow thinks that's worth $30 million. So she thinks that they kicked her out illegally of her own residence because she was living with Tiger Woods and she's seeking $30 million in damages somehow. He even had her being the, she was the general manager of his restaurant, which is like insane. So I'll read a bit bit of this for you in the part where um, she gets broken up with. Tiger Woods' ex, Erica Herman. This is perfect subway, sub, segue from taking out the trash. Exactly. That's what I was going for. Followed a complaint against Woods that claimed a legal entity controlled by the golfer violated her tenancy agreement and owes her $30 million in damages. Golf Digest, which you don't usually see being referenced in the sports world, um, but I do. A complaint filed against Jupiter Island Irrevocable Homestead Trust, controlled by Tiger Woods, alleges that she violated the Florida Residential Landlord Tenant Act. So, um... When the golf legend broke up with her, Herman says, so this is her words via the complaint they filed by trickery agents of the defendant convinced the plaintiff to pack a suitcase for a short vacation. And when she arrived at the airport, they told her she'd been locked out of her residence. So they took her to the airport thinking that she, I'm guessing that she was going to go meet Tiger somewhere for vacation. And they're just like, yeah, you can't come back to the house. So that's sort of where the lawsuit comes into play, Eric, is they're saying that they basically kicked her out of the house. And she wasn't able to go back to where she lives. And what they um, allege is that she was like pressured into it by lawyers without legal counsel to aid in her emotional moment. So I'm guessing they said emotional moment because, you know, she's in a in a poor st judgment state of mind there. And then that they misappropriated and removed her stuff and made defamatory statements about how she makes money. I'm not sure what exactly that means, but the defendant's agents removed plaintiff's personal belongings from her residence and misappropriated in excess of 40 grand in cash that belonged to her and making scurrilous, which sounds like something Cardi B would say, scurrilous, <laughs> defamatory allegations about how she obtained the money. And Tiger Woods um, trust responded to her claiming that she had five years remaining and that she had an oral agreement her tenancy so she's saying that she basically was agreed to stay there which i don't know how you have an oral agreement with your boyfriend and they say oh you're gonna have five you have five years less on, left on this lease young lady uh when you're in a relationship i don't think anyone would say that but they said in reality miss herman was invited to live in the residence while she was in a relationship with her former boyfriend and Eric, this is where it comes in where i realized that tiger woods real name is eldrick i don't know if you knew that i did know that but i i was I used to love Tiger Woods as a kid. You used to. I don't know if you watch my my. Uh, I mean, I still rock with Tiger Woods. I don't know if you saw my story recently. You can see my my golf swing is still immaculate. Interesting. Um. So she said, or they said, she continues to live in the residence with his two children, with Mr. Woods. After Mr. Woods recently terminated the relationship, Miss Herman was advised that she was no longer welcome in the residence. So her side, she had some sort of agreement that she's allowed to stay there. And then Tiger Woods' people say uh, they just broke up and he kicked her out. And then the last interesting point, Eric, is that when she filed the complaint in October, she said there wasn't any um, sexual abuse allegations. And then when they filed the next complaint in March 2023, she checked the box of, yes, there is uh, sexual abuse allegations in this. So 
take that what you were. And then uh, we asked a guy from Outkick Sports Company. He says he's more creative than Spielberg after this plot. So questions to you, Eric. Is, does she deserve this money? Do you think she's entitled to something because they kicked her out of the house? Or you break up and you get out, basically? No, obviously she's not owed anything. But Tiger Woods is clearly going to have a target on his back, right? The man, I don't know if he's a millionaire, billionaire, whatever it is. It's quite obvious he's going to have a target on his back. But my question, do I have something in my nose? Jeez, embarrassing. Um. My question is, they broke up in October, so what What took so long? So obviously, like you mentioned, it is very strange that you have a, a landlord-tenant agreement with your boyfriend or girlfriend. They weren't even married. So maybe if they were married, she'd be entitled to something. They weren't, so it doesn't seem like she's owed anything. It's certainly not $30 million, right? Like maybe you kick her $30,000 just because you're Tiger Woods and you're filthy rich and you want her out of your hair so that, that pays for her rent for the next six months or whatever it might be. But what happened between October and March, right? Like if you filed this complaint, but so that's when you broke up and you were still living there under this five-year agreement lease, it's all really confusing. I don't quite understand what happened between October and March. What's How do you explain that? Well, what I'm seeing basically is, I don't, I don't know what happened, obviously, but they filed a, another complaint here and maybe they're bringing up sexual, like if the difference between the two filings is sexual harassment or sexual assault, that would be the reason for new, you know, filing of complaints and wanting it to be taken public. Maybe she didn't get what she wanted. And uh, she said, well, we're going to take this public now. But and now were, I'm were they to together, sexual... though? They were I, together in October. They broke up. And then it, I don't. I would have I to under... assume not. I mean, if she filed it then, and that was the reason she filed it, I don't know. They just added a complaint, basically. They filed a complaint, and then it, somebody must have noticed, or like whatever happened made it public about her suing him in October. And there they are together. And I, I mean, Eric, I'm no lawyer, but she's got a crazy, she's got the crazy in her eyes. Well, look, I, I love me, don't you, Tiger? Well, look, I, I will admit, like, I am a Tiger Woods fan for, you know, like t Tiger Woods is like almost up there with Kanye, right? Like I I think he's a great guy, you know? Um, so I'm going to be completely biased on this. Like I'm not going to, there's really very little look and nobody's perfect. We all know nobody's perfect. I don't think either of us have ever pretended that anybody was perfect, but when you're talking about this woman filing this complaint, there's just nothing that you can say to me. And I will admit that that's going to tell me that this is all on the level, right? It clearly <laughs> is a money grab. There's just not like, there's nothing you can say that will convince me that this woman is rightfully deserving of $30 million after a breakup with Tiger Woods. It's obviously a, a greed play. It's a money play.